Hey, welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to design the footer of our website. So as I said, we have finished the header and navigation in mobile and desktop. Of course, I'm going to uh, do some minor customization in the future and push the code on GitHub. It will be like design changes, more of that. So in this video, we'll uh, continue our work in the footer. Footer should be easy. I'm not going to put too much time. I'm just going to copy a component in here. By default, if you come to the theme setting that we have, uh, if you check the footer, these are all we have like background and all this show currency. These are good things to have like margin spacing. Some of them like they have added in here, which is good. Uh, this is how it will display by default by like powered by Shopify. All of these links, you can add more blocks. I want to display them like side by side. It is by default side by side, but since we removed all the default CSS, it is now displaying like this. Now I don't want all of these options, currency selector for now, but in the future we can add it, like language selector, all of this, in the future we can add it. For now, let's have a clean footer. So what I can do is, I can come to the code, this is my theme, let's open footer, and this is all the file for the footer. As always, we are going to remove all these extra CSS, uh, I think they are like the things that we do need since we are using Tailwind. What I can do is I can paste uh, this footer from this project that I'm working, copy everything and then I will select everything and paste it. Now it is much less than that. If I go to the HTML section, in here we have a top header which shows our newsletter. It will show you a form and this will be newsletter form. If you have Klaviyo, Klaviyo is an email system like MailChimp if you have ever used it. They give you a snippet, you insert it and it will display an input form so the user can see and this is very issues. If, if this is available, show newsletter is a checkbox. Now if I check it, here is a checkbox. By default it is false. If it is true, then we are displaying show newsletter in here. It will have a title, a subtitle and also the HTML code that you can copy from Klaviyo or MailChimp. Then you have the section blocks. I check if the size is more than one. So what is section block? I keep going to my um, recorder. These are each blocks that we have in here. We look through them, we display them side by side. So if I come to the code, this is where we look through and this is where I say if the size is more than zero means we have more blocks. Okay, go inside this and in here we have our loop. The loop one of the reasons like we have all of these classes is because it remains from the down team. I didn't remove it, so you can keep it or you can remove it. Since we are using grid in here, everything should be fine. And in the grid, I say display three of them, uh, one of them on mobile. And if it is medium or app for, for example, for tablet and mo desktop, display three columns. You can always come change this or you can put this as a setting which we do for other sections in this video series, but for the footer, I'll just keep it as two for now. And we can make it four, that should be fine. But yeah, here we have different types. Uh, either we have a, a for loop in here, and we can use this case, which is a type of like condition checking. We check based on the block type. If block type is equal to social link, it will display the social link, which is another a section uh, another like a snippet that shows in here for now we don't use that if it is equal to text display the text for me if it is equal to link list it will display a link for me it will be like navigations so you you can display like company information like popular products about us something like that which we do for now if i save it we also have an option for uploading an image you can you can upload a logo in here for example so if I come to the theme in here and let's give it a refresh. Let's see what we have. You can always check the code on GitHub. As soon as the video is published, you will have access to the code on GitHub also. So for now, it will display something like this. Because if I come back here, when it is compiling the CSS, it didn't pick up all of this. So I have to refresh again. Sometimes it takes sometimes because it didn't copy all the CSS code for me. Okay, currently not showing anything. So let's come back here in our code. Everything is fine. Everything was compiled successfully. And if we check this one here in the front end, let's see. Again, we don't have any of those designs. 
Uh, this is one of the issues I think we have for designing our using a Shopify CLI. When I save it, it does not pick this changes properly for me. So for me to fix that, all I have to do is just add a class in here. Let's say text is transparent. If I add this, it should uh, re-trigger this compiler. You can see like now it is uploading the CSS files. That's why in the beginning of the video series, I said, I want to go with TeamKit. Now a lot of people said, let's go with Shopify CLI. Now see, everything is working fine. Okay, great. A few minor changes in the payment in here. Since uh, we are uh, using grid, it is not displaying them properly. First of all, it will display 12 of these icons, which for that client, we have 12 of these icons. At the bottom, you can see we have a list of grid in here that we display. Now, instead of this grid, I can make it flex. How easy it is. Flex and give it a space from the x direction of 2. It will give uh, like from x direction and give like, I don't know how much space is that it is 0 0.5 rem from two side and this one it says visually hidden it should be sr sr only or screen reader only we save it it should not display the text for the payment icon in here it should just display the icons so i will wait for this to refresh but it didn't so i have to manually refresh it it should do the trick for that part copyright is here let's go back to this theme setting and i again refresh it this time hopefully it pick all the settings again i will keep adding more setting to the theme so it will be usable currently the theme is just a starter theme so if you want to customize it for yourself for your client it is a great way to start with tailwind and alpine but it will not be functional to just plug and play so that is the thing that um that's my goal in the future to bring all of this on the theme push it on github make it open source so everyone can benefit from it for now we will add all the sitting of course now this is the um, copyright if i come here and put a space called code inspire it should replace whatever you have in here except the year the year is dynamic it is good to have a dynamic a lot of people forget to update that so that's why in the liquid uh if you check the copyright i am using copy in here that will display the copy and this is how you display year for the date which is a filter and let's add these navigations quick link instead of this quick link uh, let me just change it because i have created two menus behind the scene one is called company the company has all of these links nothing it, it does not go anywhere it is just the team sitting and it will display company information like this instead of quick link let's make it company looks nice to me and for this one and uh, it is called info and let's pick another menu which i already created it is called product Mm, okay in this one also we call it products or like our popular product whatever link you put here it will display the last one is this our mission and let's add an image also the logo of the website so this is the logo you can add another setting to display the logo but you see it comes in here i save it because we said three three columns should be displayed in here let's make it four uh, if I come here, customizing it will be in here. So in, in mobile, it will display one. And in desktop, it should display four. You can also specify larger screen on, I don't know, tablet. Medium is this much. If you, if you ever wonder, it is more than 768. So it will be for tablet and then desktop. Now let's bring this image at the first one and it should display it properly in here. Again, this does not apply any CSS that we have in here. Let's wait for it, yeah. Now it will display four columns in here. Yeah, that is how we designed the footer. It is fine for now. Of course, we can make it better. We can like add a setting to change the background color of this. That will be in the future. For now, all you have to do is understand how easy it is to copy one section from one theme and put it in another theme. I didn't write any CSS. I just put uh, some classes in here. That is the power of Tailwind CSS and I hope you like it as much as I do. And in the next video, we will focus in the main topics like product page, collection page, search page, account page, those pages like password page. Of course, those are already designed in my, in my project, 
but some of them require more explanation which we do in the next videos i hope it has been informative thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video